Yo, before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys that once I hit 100 subs, I'm going to do a face reveal and a Q&A as well. So be sure to hit that sub button as it costs you nothing. Also hit the bell if you want to be sure of when I upload. And for sure, remember to study this very informative graph. It's life changing. Okay, it's time to get into the video. The Invisible Barrel from Rico Harbor has long captivated the minds of many Sunshine gamers. Why is it invisible? Why is its top collision still there? And why does it appear normal in the bin editor? Well, today, I have an answer for each and every one of those questions. First, let's dive into the background of the Invisible Barrel for those who may not be initiated. I'll try to do this quickly as there's already an unfortunately pretty popular video about it by Red Fuzzy Dice or Magic Scrumpy. Basically, in Rico Harbor 1, once you've initiated the Goober Blooper boss, fight, you technically get loaded into a separate Rico Harbor, so it's like loading into a secret level except you're just loading into a different version of Rico Harbor. And in this alternate version of Rico 1, you can find the famed invisible barrel right here. What's weird about this barrel however is that it can't be picked up, Mario can walk right through it, and it doesn't explode into water when broken. The only sign of its existence is its top... Oof, that's a tongue twister. The only sign of its existence is its top collision, holy shit. The only sign of its existence is its top collision. Jesus Christ, say that 10 times fast. The only sign of its existence is its top collision. Jeez. <laughs> The only sign of its existence is its top collision, which Mario can stand on. I hope that was enough background information because now it's time to solve the mystery. Well, actually before I solve the mystery myself, I have to first acknowledge this video uploaded by the Jeffrey Land. And while I solved the invisible barrel on my own when making the hack from my barrel playthrough, the Jeffrey Land was the first to solve it. Well, mostly anyways. In their video, they show that simply moving the barrel up a little bit in the bin editor makes the barrel spawn improperly, but this still leaves us with a few questions, such as why does its top collision still exists when the barrel doesn't? And why is the barrel invisible in the first place? So for starters, we've got to get something kind of awkward out of the way first. You see, the invisible barrel isn't actually invisible. Or even a barrel. I mean, it's kind of a barrel, but it isn't. So what do I mean by that? Are we working with a Schrodinger's barrel of some kind? Well, no. You see, barrels in Sunshine, as you may already know, especially if you watch my episode of Sunshine Experiments on Barrels, are quite glitchy. Specifically, their top collision likes to glitch out. A lot. For instance, this glitch that I call the BCS happens every time Mario places down a barrel. Basically, what happens is the barrel's top collision, the part that Mario can stand on, gets skewed off of the barrel, which means Mario can just stand on thin air, and by that extent, Mario can no longer stand directly on top of the barrel either. But despite that, you would still say that the barrel is here and not here, right? And you definitely wouldn't say that the barrel is invisible, right? Well, as it turns out, the quote-unquote invisible barrel in Rico Harbor has a very similar thing happening to it. What we call the invisible barrel is really just its top collision. So you might be wondering, where's the rest of the barrel? Well, if we go into free cam, all we have to do is look below the stage to see that in in fact, the barrel is not invisible. It's just under the stage. So what's really going on here? Why does the barrel spawn below the stage, but its collision spawn above the stage? And why does raising the barrel slightly seem to completely fix it? Well, the answer is actually surprisingly simple. There are two things at play here. First, we'll start with why the barrel spawns below the stage. You see, with objects that have gravity and sunshine, such as barrels, fruit, etc., they tend to snap to the ground below them when spawning in. For example, we can put a barrel all the way up here in the sky, but once we load into the game, it snaps to the ground. And that same thing is what's happening with the so-called invisible barrel. The barrel is snapping to the out-of-bounds ground below it, and it's snapping to that ground because it was placed too low in the level editor. In other words, the only ground beneath the bottom of the barrel is out-of-bounds, as the barrel was placed partially sunken in the ground. Okay, well that's one thing out of the way, so what's the next? Well, let's look at why the barrel's collision still exists on the top of the ground. As it turns out with barrels, their top collision tends to not update properly. This is most obvious with the aforementioned BCS, but I can demonstrate this bug a bit more clearly. Here, we can see that the barrel's collision is right where it should be, but if we teleport the barrel using my epic hacker skills, you can see that while the barrel itself has teleported, the top collision has stayed where the barrel originally was. This is all starting to come together, huh? So with those two things in mind, we can easily deduce what's actually happening here with the invisible barrel. The barrel is set to spawn right here in the level, but because its bottom is sunken beneath the ground, it teleports to the ground beneath it, which happens to be out of bounds. But since the top collision of barrels doesn't like to update correctly, it stays where the barrel was placed in the level editor, despite that it's actually floating. And to top it all off, if we go back to the barrel we placed in the sky earlier, we can actually see that, much like the invisible barrel, the top collision stays floating where we placed the barrel earlier. 
Well, that was quick. I'd again like to shout out the Jeffrey Land for beating me to a large part of this mystery. I don't in any way want to steal their thunder or take their credit, so be sure to give that video a quick watch if you haven't already. Anyways, I've been Angry Max, and later.